the liver king's not natural? What? Let's talk about it. What's up YouTube, Quan here, back with another video. So I didn't wanna talk about this at first, but today we're gonna to talk about the liver king and just touch on a few things. You guys have seen Derek Moore plays more, more dates, more plates, more plates, more dates? I don't know how to say it, but you know what I'm saying. You've seen Derek's video, and in his video it goes over the liver king. If you guys don't know who the liver king is, this is him right here. Big, jacked, primal beast monster dude, right? For months, and oh, actually years now, he's claimed to be natural. And um, different reports estimate his net worth from you know a million dollars all the way to a hundred million dollars. But let's just say a hundred million just for the sake of it. He's made a hundred million dollars selling these ancestral supplements, teaching you to eat liver and all sorts of other um, animal body parts is what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna get in the detail because I don't want this video getting in any trouble. But the liver king is a guy, he got exposed in Derek's video with some leaked emails that show what he was buying. And just to summarize, because again, my channel isn't about this, to summarize, he was spending over $10,000 a month on um, substances to improve his physique after claiming it was the liver and his supplements that did that. So with that being said, my name is Quan. I'm a personal trainer, and my channel is dedicated to helping you guys improve your life and talk on topics within the fitness industry. So from fitness to making content, whatever it is you guys need help with, I'm here to help you get better because the world has spent time working with me. With that being said, if this video is helpful to you in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, no hard feelings, all right? I appreciate you. So let's get to the liver king. My thoughts on him are fairly simple. The fitness industry is going to always have people who lie, right? I think the liver king at some point was going to come clean about everything, but honestly, guys, look at the guy. If you honestly thought that guy was just eating liver, you really have to understand that no one can look like that on their own. And him, he lied for the money. And it's pretty obvious, $100 million, a lot of people would lie for that. Like, I've been training for 17 years, and I'm, I mean, I'm not a huge dude by any means, but I've put on some good size, and I even deal with different allegations and stuff, and there's nothing really to be chasing me around about. You know, but it is what it is. So people are going to always question, but there are certain people that you shouldn't question. I mean, you look at his body and you're like, this guy's a freaking monster, right? Um, and his supplements and his claims were so far off from what traditional medicine would say that you had to know it was a lie. Do I think he should be canceled for this? I don't think he should be canceled, but I think he should issue some sort of an apology. At the time of filming this video, he has not issued an apology. He's just kind of gone on business as usual. Um, and there's also been leaks now that have said that he was going to create... He was going to come clean about this anyway, which I think, which I actually do believe. I think he was going to come clean, but he just, you know, needed some time to figure out what he wanted to do, and I'm completely okay with that. Um, but honestly, guys, yes, the Liver King lied. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but that's just the fitness industry. And I want to do a video about the dark side of the fitness industry. I've talked about this for quite some time, like reporter style to really get it, dig deep into the history of it. Because at the end of the day, our entire industry from supplements to products has always been kind of snake oil salesman kind of based. Um, and I wanted to come here and really give you guys some quick tips on how to really you know, change your life. Progressive overload in the gym, slowly increasing weights over time, doing consistent cardio, slowly increasing that over time, taking rest days, eating consistently, use a macronutrient calculator if you don't know at least what you, what you should be eating, get a dietitian or nutritionist if you can afford it, and you guys can make some great progress. You don't have to follow these people that are larger than life figures or that are giving you some secret tip. The reason why you guys fell for the liver king is because he was giving you some secret thing you never heard of. You know, he's giving you, you know, eat this liver, eat this toenail, like, and you guys were buying into it because it was something you never heard before. Um, fitness is pretty simple. You don't need to oil yourself up and do backflips to get in shape. You don't need to run around with GH gut and throwing spears to be ancestral. Guys, just go to the gym every day. Just work hard every day and you're gonna be just fine. I know other people are talking more about the liver king kind of going into detail, but I know you guys have seen those videos at nauseam. This is just my reaction to the liver king and everything that he's gone through and just giving you guys advice as a trainer with almost 12 years experience. Stop falling for the nonsense. Seriously, PEDs are a part of the game. Yeah, they are. But no, he still worked hard to build that physique. Let's not get it twisted. He definitely still trained hard. There's nothing you can take on this earth that's gonna just make you jacked. You see it all the time. I worked in clubs and bars. You see guys running all this stuff and they don't look like anything. It really does come down to how hard you work. And of course those things help, but you still have to do the work at the end of the day. So if someone is preaching like eating some weird food that you don't normally see and like doing like awkward or weird workouts, 
they're probably just another snake oil salesman, okay? So be careful who you trust, be careful who you buy things from, and if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, thanks for listening to me rant about the Liver King, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.